Hey up, today I'm going to do an edit in Cool Edit Pro using zero crossings and cue points. Let's do it. Uh, okay, I'm in the Wave Editor here and I'm just going to open a file. This is one that I've already looked at um, in previous videos. I'm going to edit it, I'm going to chop a section out that um, that I think um, it, the song doesn't need. So this is the this is the file. It's just after the guitar solo. The guitar solo is here. Now it does that for a while, just about here. So this is the bit that I want to take out. When it goes into another section there. So let me just try and find the right place on here. So just about there. So I'm going to zoom into that. I'm just going to select uh, and drag just to, that's left click and drag to select a portion. And I'm going to use this button here, zoom to selection. And that just sort of magnifies it. I don't know which beat this is, so I'm going to try it, find it. Okay, so I, I'm either, I'm either going to go for that snare beat or this snare beat here. I'm not too sure which. So let's see if I can find the other end of it. So it's a bar's worth, really, is what I'm after. That one there. Just zoom into that. So it's going to be on this beat. So I'm going to zoom in and find the zero crossing point. And the zero crossing point is where the waveform here crosses over the red line there, the centre point where there's uh, there's no energy. So that is not a fantastic zero crossing point because it's um, above the red line there in the in the right channel. So let's try that one. Oh, that's not fantastic. Let's try that one. There we go. So that's uh, equal in the left and the right, and it's uh, let's just zoom right into it. That's pretty much spot on. That's as best as we can get. So I'm going to mark this zero, zero crossing point now by going up to the top and uh, going to this little triangle here, yellow triangle, and right clicking. And I'm going to insert into queue list. So uh, that's F8. And I'll just put a little marker on that point there. So that's the beginning one. I did it on the snare beat. It sounds like uh, the snare beat isn't here on this one. So it sounds like it's where the symbol should be, just here. So let's just go into that. That looks like the start of the symbol. And you can see the wave changing here. So I'm going to go in there just for a minute and let's zoom in a little bit. See if we can find a zero crossing point somewhere around here. I'm just going through them. That looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go. So both are near enough zero there. The reason why you have to do that, if you don't do that, um, there's a very audible click when you chop a waveform together. So both the two ends of the waveform will come together, and you'll hear like a, a you'll hear a chop like a click. Um, so anyway, I'm happy with that, and I'm going to mark that in the same manner. So I'll right click over this, insert into queue list, and then. I'm going to zoom out, I'm just, I'll use these function buttons here. There you go, so you can see Q1 and Q2. Now if I just make a selection somewhere in the middle, just like that, let me just make that a bit bigger. Then I'm going to drag my uh, boundary over and it, it should snap to waveform, like that. 
or snap to the queue, sorry. So I'll do the same with this, snap to the queue, and that just did it automatically. And then I'm just going to hit delete. Well, let's have a listen to how that sounds. Couldn't hear any clicks there. Couldn't hear any clicks there. It's in time. So there you go. That's uh, chopping a waveform using um, Cool Edit Pro, uh, using Q markers and um, uh, zero crossing points.